Hey everyone, welcome to Only Farm Toys. Today we have the 4020 John Deere with the E12 Brush Hog. This replica is for ages 3 plus, so it is a toy more than a collector's model, but it's very detailed. Really like it. It is all plastic. I don't think there's a single metal thing on this toy. But it's really neat. Now, even though it is fully plastic, it does hold up to the big farm standards. And it does take a pretty good amount of punishment. And like all big farm toys, this come with lights and sounds. Push the fuel cap for the engine noise. And then you push the radiator cap. For the backup beeper and also the led lights are very bright they will blind you so don't look at them now let's take a look at this closer look at the tractor really nice i like that the lettering and numbers are decals they're not stickers so if you have kids like mine who like to peel stickers off they won't be able to on this one has a regular big farm hitch, nothing new there, but highly detailed for just being a kid's toy. One of my favorite parts is the steering wheel. Look at that, it says power steering on it, just like the actual 4020s had. And the hand grips are painted. Now, to get at the batteries are underneath it. I believe it takes two double or triple A's. Now let's take a look at the hitch. It's just simply pull up like any other big farm toy and then just slide it back down in the grooves and it kind of has a couple notches for a couple different height adjustments. And it does have the Paul tab so you can hook up the old metal toys to it as well. Now let's take a look at the brush hog. This one does have stickers, not decals. And all the blades are uh, spin. The wings fold down. Fold down relatively easy. And then the wheels. The wheels also will go up so you can lower the implement down. There, and now you're ready to mow. All right, let's talk about the landing gear. While it's there, it does not want to stay up, at least not on this one. But it's not a big deal. It doesn't actually drag on the ground hooked up. Now let's talk about connectors. This one is for the old metal farm toys. You can hook those up. And then this one is for the more modern toys, like the Brooders. It has a little pin, or a little hole for the pin in it. Now if you look, it just slides in there. See, there's that little raised line on it. That faces forward. Just put that in there and push up. And now you can hook it up to your brooder tractors. Or you can also hook it up to the big farm with that little notch right there too. It's really up to you how you want to hook it up. Me and my boys usually just leave those pieces out and just set it down on top of the hitch. That usually works quite well. So, all in all, guys, I would definitely recommend this tractor to get for your kids. Or even if you're into collecting John Deere toys, this is definitely one I would want to get. Um, the detail is phenomenal on the tractor, and the decals look great. The brush hog is pretty cool, too. It's It feels a little flimsier than the tractor does, but... If you guys are interested in this tractor, there will be links down in the description where you can go purchase that. Those are affiliate links, so any purchase does help this channel out quite a bit, but it doesn't affect your price at all. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.